eastern subterranean termites do more damage than anything else in the U.S. each year. If you combine every natural disaster, hurricane, tornado, all combined, they still don't cause as much dollar damage as termites do. Termites build mud tubes. They use these tubes as highways. A termite can't control their body temperature nor their moisture level, so they live in the ground. Eastern subterranean, that means they live in the ground. When they come up, they have to have these guys here so they don't dry out and die. In a matter of about an hour, if they're exposed, they're gonna dry up due to the atmosphere and the environments in these areas. Every 24 to 48 hours, most termites in a colony are gonna go back into the ground. They do this to feed others, to feed the queen, but also to control and regulate their body temperature and moisture levels. As we're doing further inspection, we also find some evidence inside the kitchen cabinet. We're looking here, they've been eating on some of the paneling, they've been eating on some of the shelves. There's mud tubes up here on the countertop. So as we talked about before, they have to have these mud tubes for protection anytime that they come out of the ground. So we see them there, but we also see in some nice areas down here underneath where they're coming up right the edge of the slab behind the house here. Part of treatment and taking care of these is removing the old mud tubes or anything that you see there to try to ensure that they go back through the ground to get into some treatment. Gotta have your multi-purpose tool. Now we're gonna draw a graph. A graph is needed to notate where the issues are, to show us where we need to apply material, but also to tell us how much material we need to apply. On this treatment, we're gonna trench and treat the exterior perimeter as well as drill and treat the water heater slab where evidence is at. The homeowner has chosen not to drill the front slab, so we're gonna waver those guys. Here we got Nick digging a trench about six inches by six inches, enough to hold any material by the foundation wall in our target areas. Something you always have to be careful of is any penetration under the ground. You don't wanna do any damage to plumbing or wires. Always watch your surroundings. Our goal is to get treatment around the full perimeter of the house. There are some areas such as a slab we can't dig a trench and get material in, so we're gonna to have to drill through to get materials into the soil where termites live. Now that we're done with prep, we gotta get down some material. We're gonna to go to our graph and get our linear footage. Most materials require four gallons every 10 linear feet. So we're gonna use this and calibrate our equipment. All right, to figure up our material, you simply need to figure out, first off, the linear feet. The linear feet of this one is 148. We need to apply four gallons every 10 feet. How do you come up with that figure? First thing, we're gonna take the 148 and we're gonna divide it by 10. That gives us 14.8 sections where we need four gallons of each of those 14.8 sections. We're gonna take 14.8 and multiply it by the four gallons that we need for treatment. That gives us a total of 59.2 gallons for a full treatment here. So what we need is to fill this jug up until it gets a gallon. We're gonna use a timer. That way we'll know how much material we're putting out. Twenty-seven point two five seconds. We'll round that up to twenty-eight. Multiply that by the four gallons Nick needs to spray every ten feet, and now we know that each ten-foot section will take one minute and fifty-two seconds to treat. Our materials work because they live in the soil. Every twenty-four to forty-eight hours, termites have to go back through the soil to the queen, to the colony. They feed each other. They regulate their body temperature. They regulate their moisture levels. Well, once we apply material, our materials stick to soil as they go through there they get infected, it kind of works like a virus. Termites, they don't process the wood immediately, it goes into their stomach, it processes the cellulose, but then they excrete it from their back. Termites are very social. So as it's excreted, they all groom each other, they feed off each other. Everyone that passes, they're gonna stop and greet each other, they're gonna groom. This is how our materials work. They don't know it's there, they go through it, they're infected. Then others get infected simply by eating off of them. All right, so we got 148 linear feet, so we need to get down 59.2 gallons. That's what Nick's doing now. Here there's not open trenches, so we've got a rod that's got a four-way tip on it, so we put it through the holes that we drilled earlier, and we wanna make sure and get the same amount of material through these holes as we did in the trenches. Four gallons every 10 feet. Now that we're wrapping up, we gotta fill up these trenches, and Nick is coming behind us, spray in the backfield. 
Like and subscribe for more videos. We'll be back soon. Hope you will.